Hello, I'm Stephanie Isaacson and I'm with the Australian Charities and Not-for-Profits Commission Implementation Task Force. I'd like to introduce to you Kate Wallace. Kate heads the Office for the Not-for-Profit Sector in the Department of the Prime Minister and Cabinet. Kate, would you like to tell us about the role of the office? Thanks Stephanie. The Office for the Not-for-Profit Sector is, as you said, located in the Department of Prime Minister and Cabinet and it has a central coordinating role. We work closely with other areas within the Commonwealth Government, such as the Department of the Treasury, the Department of Finance and of course the Implementation Task Force for the Australian Charities and Not-for-Profits Commission. We really want to make sure that the reforms are coordinated and streamlined. We also look after volunteering and philanthropy and social investment policy. We also manage the National Compact. The National Compact was signed between the not-for-profit sector and the government in March 2010 and it really represents a new way of trying to work together. Kate, it has been a busy year for the office. Could you tell us about some of the activities you've been up to? Yeah, thanks Stephanie. It has been a busy year. We've established the Not-for-Profit Reform Council and that's chaired by Linda Lavarch. There's also made up of, the Reform Council is also made up of other ex respected and experienced people from the sector who provide advice on the reform agenda. A National Compact Advocate has also been appointed in all of the relevant Commonwealth agencies. And that person is in charge within that agency of trying to make sure that the principles of the National Compact are embodied within all of the work that they take forward and to make sure that any of the new initiatives that need to be adopted across government are taken up in that agency. Kate, how can people keep in touch with what is happening at the office? I hope that the sector is familiar with our new not-for-profit website. That's www.notforprofit.gov.au. We're about to set up an online calendar so that people can keep in touch with our milestones and also be familiar with when we've got some consultation processes underway. And we'll, um, you know, all of our national compact partners are also on the website and we are also part of the Twitter community so people can sign up to receive information from us in that way as well. Um, it is a really good way of keeping in touch with the reform agenda and making sure that you can have input to some of these important consultation processes as they uh, as they come out. The sector has talked about the burden of reporting. What is being done in the reform agenda to address this? We're working with the Department of Finance in particular and of course the, the Implementation Task Force to try and streamline some of our approaches. We're doing that on a number of fronts because we're really trying to balance our need for information with the need to keep the sector doing what it does best which is working with the community of course. So keep in touch with the website. We're going to be, you know, again, trying to, to look at different things, having, um, you know, introducing templates, which provides a bit more of a standardisation across government. So we are tipping away. And of course, the report once use often information portal that's coming online in 2013 will also be an important way for us to streamline those arrangements further. And the sector's very supportive of the standard chart of accounts. Can you just define exactly what that is? Certainly, the standard chart of accounts was adopted by the Commonwealth and all, um, not for, all agencies are required to accept information from the not-for-profit sector in the standard chart of accounts from the 1st of July this year for any new grants that were entered into. And Kate, um, is there anything else in the pipeline? We've got a, a lot of things going on across every front, which is why we really do want people to keep in touch with us through the website. For example, in the next, you know, in coming months, we anticipate some, you know, uh, consultation papers on things such as fundraising to come out, on things such as the statutory definition of charity to come out. They're just two important pieces of work that are on the horizon, and so keep in touch with the website. Um, we, the government's also working on a volunteering strategy to look at how we can take volunteering forward over the next decade and uh, so that's something else that the sector can anticipate coming out hopefully before the end of the year. Thank you very much Kate and we invite the sector to keep in touch with the activities of the office on their website on www.notforprofit.gov.au